I followed my dreams and opened an antique store to have adventures and spend time as a family. Sometimes you have to climb a mountain and open some new doors to find the treasures inside. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. Hey everyone, so today we're going to talk about doing some renos around the shop. So as a retailer, you have to really look at your business in a new light every once in a while. So as I come upstairs here, let me show you what we're looking at and what we're thinking of doing. So currently when you walk upstairs, what we see is my mezzanine, which has kind of a little toy department off to the right, some cabinets, and then I have some records and guitars on the back. Now, this has been pretty much the layout since we opened a couple years ago, but I wanna do something really different. There's a few things that have been bugging me about the upstairs space. One is it's kind of constricted. I have a little kitchen that's hiding back there and we have it separated with a partition wall. I'd like to open up the whole space and really make more of a gallery feel upstairs. So it's gonna take some work and I'm gonna to have to get rid of a bunch of stuff upstairs here to make this make sense. end of the day on day one of moving stuff around in my upstairs so far I've managed to move all of my showcases and the bookcase around and I've started to work on a little corner over here that used to be the kids department and now it's gonna be something else so a lot more work to do but I'm happy with how things are coming along have a look at the uh, little area over here So instead of kids toys over here, I've hung my skull chandelier above my super cool miniature one third scale Model T race car. I've got some of my posters, my war bond posters and signs and clocks and stuff up on the wall. So this area is definitely starting to look a lot better than what it did before. Just have to get some of the cupboards out of the way and put some more signs and pictures up and it'll come along. So I worked many years in retail and one of the most important things you can do is to keep things fresh. In fact, if you go to a lot of retail stores, they might have a basic layout, but the products change all the time. Uh, you wanna make sure that you're changing things up and keeping things interesting so when people come through, maybe that thing that you've had for a while looks different in a different way or you will have some new product come in and wanna show it off. So we're always changing and constantly evolving and I can't stress enough how important that is. But let's go upstairs and have a look and see how things have progressed with the upstairs. And moving things around gave me a chance to showcase a couple of really interesting pieces like our 1800s Cree healing chair. This is a, a piece, an artifact that was found in Northern Alberta where I am, made from fallen buffalo horn and wood. I did a little feature on this a little while ago, but it's such a cool piece and now I have a great spot to display. <laughs> This was kind of a neat prohibition era piece that I picked up last year. Beware of chance acquaintances. So uh, it's basically warning girls not to, uh, <laughs> like she, she's looking at the guy like, uh, what do you want? Not to uh, go with men they don't know because they might be uh, after something else. So the date on this is, I'll see if I can zoom in, 1926 Canadian Society for Social Hygiene. That's just uh, too good. I don't even know where they would have hung that, maybe in a doctor's office or in a school, try and scare people off. Either way, it was neat, and I'm glad I have it displayed now.
why have normal taxidermy when you can have two cobras fighting a mongoose? Um, I picked this up off of a fellow who has become a friend, and um, you know, the funny thing was, if a guy likes Mopar, they had the famous snake and mongoose race cars, um, or if you just like taxidermy, that's kind of an oddball thing, but yes, we even have cobras fighting mongoose. So with a bit of work and perseverance, our upstairs is looking just about as good as the downstairs, and that was really my goal. So it really had a common feel, a common theme as people walk through the shop. So um, if you own a store, don't be afraid to change things up. Uh, doing a new display can make it feel like a whole new shop again. Thanks again very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. You can follow us on Instagram or on Facebook under Curiosity Incorporated, and we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.